Hello and welcome to my video on installing a Spirit Settings app on a Mac. Some of this will apply for Windows as well, although the installer on Windows is a little bit more full features than on, uh, on the Mac. Not that it matters, it works just fine. Before you actually go and get the app and install it on, on your Mac, I think it's important to go and get the actual driver that talks to the FlyWireless controller. I find that using the driver that comes packaged with uh, the software that you download from Spirit has an older version and if you install it, the Mac will inform you that uh, the software will, be, will no longer work. And the reason for that is it's actually got a 16-bit driver in there and you need 64-bit drivers for this to work. What I'd suggest is go to the Silicon Labs site if you don't know how to get to it um, i i just did a search for silicon labs bcp because that's the type of controller that i need to get and follow link and i'll post this link in in the video description so you can just go and click on it if you want to i just wanted to show you how i got there and as you can see you have installation versions here for windows different versions of windows you can download this and and do a direct install for your Windows. I know that the Windows installer that also comes with a version, not sure how out of date that is, don't have it. Um, but for Mac, you need to go and get this one. You, you can go and read the release notes, it'll tell you it's a newer version, updated version, but we're just gonna go and click on the download VCP. And as you can see, the little animation showed me, it downloaded. We're gonna open up the location where it is. And I'm just gonna start up the TMG installer. All right, not sure why that's taking so long. Okay, and there we go. So you can go and read stuff. I'm not gonna go, I'm just gonna do the double click there. It's gonna say this is downloaded. Yes, I'm sure I wanna install it. And we're gonna go and agree and do that. And it's asking for my password, which is all good. And all right, and this will take a little bit of time. So while that is completing, I'm uh, gonna go ahead and show you where to get the actual software for the Spirit. So we're gonna go to spiritsystems.com. Um, I'm just on one of the product pages because that makes a nice splash when you start it up, but go to download and now you can see here's the actual software that will run on all these platforms you have Windows, Apple, Linux, FreeBSD, Raspberry Pi and Android. So quite the selection that you can that uh, the software supports. Uh, you, of course, you can download the firmware here for your uh, fly wireless controller as well. I'm going to go in there. You have an online version of your manual. You can also choose to download a PDF version. And of course, if you use any of the other products. But we're only interested in getting the actual software for my Mac. So I clicked on that. And we'll wait for that download to complete. In the meantime, the Spurred installation is still doing its thing, so still not complete. There we go. We open the actual settings app, and you can see there's no real installation, whatever here. If I go and start this, it will just say, ah, <laughs> another security feature of Max is that um, anything you download from the internet it's not just going to let you run it because you know you don't want unscrupulous people installing stuff on your machine without you knowing it so the way that you will open this app to run it is hold in the control and it's not command control so holding control click on it it'll bring up the menu and says open and now it'll give you the option still to move it to trash or to open the actual app it might still be looking for that uh, driver to be up. Oh, that's finished. So driver completed installing and close that. 
Oh, um, it's saying uh, it can't see a FBL because I actually don't have it powered on in the moment, so it won't connect it. But the point is, I could open it. But honestly, do you really want to run this from uh, from just a DMG folder? No. So what we're going to do here, quickly create a new file, finder window, click on Applications, and then we're just going to drag that into our Applications folder. Um, apparently I already had one in there, but we'll just replace it. And there we go. So now I can close that. I actually can disconnect the DMG and that. Okay, good. So control, settings, open, open. Yeah, this is only a one-time thing you need to do. The next time you run it, It'll just open. You don't need to open it. The hold down the control. That's just the very first time that you do the actual application. So now, if I do actually go and power up uh, and plug in my uh, my controller, you will see that I can connect to it. And I'm not going to go into any settings and things. I just want to show you that uh, that it works. Let's try it again. All right, and it found. My unit it tells me where it's connected it shows me the firmware and we're good to go and you can start your setup wizard do whatever you need to do so i have now connected my spur to my mac hope this uh, video is useful like subscribe and comment let me know what you think thank you